Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. Featuring undiscovered artists from across the globe. Unlocking the music from hip-hop to rock. We got it. That's the jam right there. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. I am your host, Sincere on Beats. And I'm your girl, Daisy. D-A-Y-C-E-E, in the place to be. Yeah. Yo, that was the song of the week. That was Rosa, courtesy of Music Diary Group. That was nice and chill. You know what I mean? It's nice and chill, man. Yeah. If you want to hear the whole song, go to our SoundCloud uh, type music diary group uh, find us and you'll hear all the songs from our episode mm-hmm. everything will be in the description anyway mm-hmm. if you want to sing your song sing it to <laughs> sing it mm-hmm. send it to music diary group at gmail.com and title the song um new song or mm-hmm. song of the week yes yes, yes song yes. of the week would be better yeah i think so yeah I song of so. the week okay and who is this episode sponsored by <gasps> um Beauty Par. Beauty Par. Beautypar.com. Okay. And uh, that's for all you ladies. If y'all want something, you know, you want some uh, some hand cream, you know, to make your skin feel so soft. Because sometimes dude be like, um, why is her hand so rough? Why is her skin so rough? You don't want you don't want us to say that. No. You, you know don't mean? want nobody to say it. You don't want to you don't want to cut people. Nah. No. <laughs> nah, you don't want to cut yourself. No. Nah. <sighs> but anyway. So go to beautypart.com and uh, tell them we sent you over there. Yes, that's B E A U T P A R dot com. E. E, yeah, B E A T E P A R. Yes, dot com. All right. That's in the description as well. So, yes. All right, go shopping. Okay, so what's today's topic? Forgiveness, people. Ouch. Forgiveness. That's a. Bad word for a lot of people. Man, that's like a, <laughs> a uppercut, man. Like a punch in the throat. Yeah. Don't you know nobody I mean? want to hear that. Nah. Shh, don't say that. Yeah. Don't yeah. nobody want to forgive nobody. Even us sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what that's I mean? a, that's a, yeah. That's everybody. That's like, a doozy. Especially when you feel offended, mm. that's the last thing you want to hear. You'll forgive them. That's the last so, thing you want to hear. With that being said, what does forgiveness look like? Well, um, it looks like you can tell like you have unforgiveness if you're first and foremost holding a grudge. Right. Right? That's the big one. It's a big one. Usually people don't hold grudges unless there's unforgiveness there. True that. True that. You're offended and you haven't let it go and you still got something against that person. Yeah, I've been there. Mm, yeah, I think we all yeah, we, have. I've been there. And what about bitterness? Oh, yeah. That kind of go hand in hand. That goes, yeah, I think that goes hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be real bitter just... Thinking about something that somebody did to you. Yeah. Or you might interpret what they said mm-hmm. in a different manner. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And you know what? I think bitterness is even, it's just more broad. Grudge is against one person. Okay. Bitterness is more broad mm. because then bitterness translates into every similar situation. Okay. Okay. I right? can see that. So it just, it spills over. I think grudges spill over into bitterness. Okay. I can see that. Right. So now... You had you go from having a grudge with your ex mm. to being bitter about every relationship, yeah, you know, yeah. about certain things about about a person in every single relationship, and then it becomes a bitterness in general. Right, right. You know, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> so it just it actually just spreads. Grudges spread to bitterness. Yeah. And then um 
causes tension in relationships. It does. Oh, yeah. I, I believe. I believe it. Um, <laughs> because it goes to if I'm holding the grudge, right, the bitterness, I'm not able to communicate mm-hmm. to you. You know, I'm a, I'm a feel some kind of resentment, right. you know, towards you. You know, and be like, oh, I got to deal with this idiot. Got to deal mm-hmm. with this person. You know what I mean? Right. And it turns into uh, passive aggressiveness. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah, exactly. And then you just, you, you your body language and yeah. your tone and all of that. Everything, is, yeah. Yeah. And it's wondering, wondering what's wrong with a person. Exactly. Right. Causes division. Oh, this is just progression, progression, progression. Yeah. Over, over, <laughs> over just not forgiving, not forgiving somebody. Yeah. You know? Yeah, spill over, spill over, spill over. Mm-hmm. So it causes division, um, gossip, because what oh, you, yeah. you're trying to get somebody on your team, right? Trying to get somebody on your you, and, and you know what we're saying. Mm-hmm. You say, yo, let me tell you what, uh, we, we're going to say, I'm just throwing any name out there. I don't know nobody by this name, but we're going to say Cheryl, right? <laughs> Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl. We're with Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl. But we're going to say, you know, you know Cheryl said. let me tell you what mm-hmm. Cheryl did or what Cheryl said. You know, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe that. Mm-hmm. What you think? Because you're trying to get somebody you on your team. On your you team, want, you want somebody, you want empathy. Yeah. Right? So the, the empathy turns into trying to get empathy and seek empathy turns into gossip. Right. Right? So, and I've been there, yeah. you know, trying to get some empathy, you know, for when somebody did me dirty and want them to feel like, I, I'm looking for empathy. Right, and I'm going right. on and on. Da, 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 da. You know, and so somebody could be like, yeah, girl, I need that. You you, you be that. <laughs> you want to be filled I with know. the drama, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to you wanna, you wanna make your fellow sit, like, it's like bitterness. You want to endure, in, what do you call in, Indulge? Indulge. Indulge. I guess, yeah, you pity party. Yeah, somebody pity party. need to come to my pity party. Yeah. I don't want to be here by myself. Excuse I need somebody to validate my I'm anger. Feelings. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I can feel justified. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. And I know everybody listening to this knows exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. We have all been there. We all been there. <laughs> and we might still be. Yeah. I mean, we'll be there again. You exactly. know what I'm saying? We'll be there again. Exactly. And then you got, it, it spills over into health issues. Like it does. What? what kind of health issues? High blood pressure, you know, um, which could cause like a stroke. You know what I mean? Um, mental health because you're gonna worry yourself to death. But I can't believe it. you're just gonna make yourself crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't need that stress in your life, man. You don't need that. Yeah. Then you gotta go to the doctor get medicine. You know, what I'm saying which is gonna um, your bills gonna go high. You know, doctor bill. Yeah, listen, man. And you know what? I want to add to in regards to physical health. I know what you do. When you feel stressed, is you like to work it out at the gym? Yeah, but I think I don't want to slap nobody. Right, right. It works for some I, people. Yo, listen, I gotta save my felonies. <laughs> I gotta save them for something good. <laughs> you know <what> okay, <laughs> right. Yeah. So not over no stupid stuff. Nah. But then you know it goes without saying that you can go work your work your butt off at the gym. Yeah. And then if you haven't forgiven, if you're still holding a grudge, if you're still bitter, then you know. That might that can only go so far. Exactly, it can. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what does it mean to forgive? Can we look up? Can I use your phone? Look up the dictionary definition. I left mine. Oh my god! I left it. No, she didn't. I did. No, she didn't. We didn't forgive. We gonna look up the dictionary. Um, yeah, that's it. No, no, no. For just forgive, because yeah, but two different definitions. Forgive. And so what's the dictionary definition of forgiving is to stop feeling angry or resentful towards someone for an offense, a flaw, or Mm. a mistake. Mm. Um, Yes, and that's it. Um, Yeah, so yeah, that's the definition. What you think about that? I think that's a very... Just like, okay, so, and, mm. you know what I'm saying? But we like to get deeper. Well, yeah. Do you think that, you know, it's interesting? Because I think we talked about it earlier. This says stop feeling. Stop feeling angry or resentful. And my question earlier was. Is it a feeling? Yeah. Is is uh, is forgiveness a feeling? Can you stop hmm. yourself from feeling angry and resentful? <laughs> think about it for a second. Okay, let's answer that. What do you think? N- um... Later on, it could be a feeling, but it's at first it can be it is a decision. 
Mm-hmm. It's a decision to forgive somebody. Right. So after you make that decision, things will come into play later. Like you will feel a different way about a person later on. But you have to first make a conscious decision mm-hmm. to forgive someone. Right. So, so and, and a situation. Right. Right. And we respectfully, I guess, disagree with the dictionary. Right. <laughs> because, you you know, feelings... Yeah, you it's it's hard to uh to just turn them on and off like a spigot. You know what right. I mean? Like um so with respect to that. Cuz we're human. Right. God made us with feelings. Right. Right. And with respect to that, you like you said, it's a decision that you make despite of your feelings. Right, despite That's of your feelings. That's the hard part because then the feelings will catch up later. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Which which leads us to faith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying because you make that decision and hoping that if, and if you really want to forgive somebody, you make a decision hoping that your attitude and your feelings will change towards something or someone. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that exactly. That's the faith part. You got it. The faith means you're not waiting for a feeling. Right. That's <laughs> that's, that's the what huge, it is. That's the huge definition. You're not yeah. waiting for your feelings. You, yep. you do it because you know that it's going to help you in the long run. It's going to help the other person in the long run. So you use a conscious go. decision. Mm-hmm. Um, to um, not be feelings based, feelings be based. Nothing mm-hmm. more than feelings. Nothing Sorry. more than feelings. Sorry, yeah, good point. Because that's all went it to is. Urkel. <laughs> that's, <What> up, Jaleel? <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is, though. It's nothing more than feelings. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so we, I think we put too much into. Jada Kiss that. said, "He said, f me, f your feelings." Mm-hmm. On the DVD, Jada Kiss. Say, yeah, I feel your feelings. You're talking about 50 Cent. Oh, oh, your <laughs> mind just wanders there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. So, like, feelings are fickle. And and it's hard. It's hard, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it really is. It's easy to just go with that, you know, but. It's easier said than done, to be honest way with you. you know easier I mean? said than done. Everybody say, oh, man, yo, just forgive him. Just forgive her. You know what I'm saying? Everything be all right. It's not that simple. It's not that or simple, man. If, if people, preachers wouldn't have to preach about it like once every other month. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, I like to, to also, and then, you know, so letting it go is like it's just a lot more said than done. Right. You just, you it starts up here and then it translates. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, Spills does, out. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about what it means to forgive? Um. No, nah, you know. You know um, I think that. The dictionary was, yeah, stop feeling mad. No, I'm not going to stop yeah. feeling angry. <laughs> you yeah, got any like, examples? You mean, you go, yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you can lose a loss to the argument. Well, you know what? Um, I'm lost right now. <laughs> yeah, stop looking at that because, you know, you get yeah, lost. I'm lost. But, like, um, well, I could tell you what it does not mean <laughs> because a lot of times people feel like, when you forgive somebody, you you're weak, right? Yeah, everybody. Well, I didn't say everybody, but a lot of people feel like that. Oh man, I'm not. They want the last word. Mm-hmm. You gotta have the last word, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want the last word. Mm-hmm. They don't want to lose the argument. Yep. Because having the last word means they won the argument. Yeah. So if I forgive, I lost the argument. It does not mean forgiveness does not mean you lost the argument. Right. Forgiveness does not mean that you gave in. It does not mean that. Right? It really doesn't know. Because mm-hmm. the reality is, if you truly forgive somebody, really nobody's going to know you forgive them. You, you know, know what I'm saying? They don't have to. They don't, yeah. have, they don't have to know you forgave them. Right. I mean, you forgiving somebody for you, not for them. Right. Right. You know, and then like, um, right, because, and then feeling, I'm sorry, <laughs> it does not mean that you're weak and that you're vulnerable to be right. taken advantage of. Because sometimes right. people say, oh, well, if I forgive them, they're going to, now I'm opening up the door for them to take advantage of me. Not necessarily so. Not necessarily so, you know. Because you know why? Because forgiveness also does not mean that you have to loosen or abandon your boundaries. There you go. So doesn't still set boundaries. Right. You can you can forgive somebody and still set a boundary and still keep a boundary in place. I can forgive you, never speak to you again. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta do that. Sometimes you can forgive it is what somebody it is. And, and keep the distance. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I forgive you, but I won't be you know, I won't be picking you up again. Boom. Um or you know, I forgive you, but I won't be babysitting your child again. Boom. Which 
you need to go and watch our video, which is, um, what is it, Burning Bridges? Yes. We talk about Burning Bridges. We talk about Burning Bridges. Mm-hmm. So look at the, the card right here. So you'll see it. <laughs> yes. Up above. No, right here. <laughs> yes. And so, um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that you're giving somebody a key to take advantage of you. If you forgive, you can forgive with boundaries. And I think that that, that gets lost sometimes because people get, get into this black and white thinking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If, if I forgive, then I'm weak and then you can walk all over me. And then, but no, you can forgive and you can still maintain boundaries there and you, you can go. still be, you know, you can still, you know, maintain it. Yeah. Um, and then you, it doesn't mean that you have to forget it either. Exactly. A lot of people think that though, yeah. you know, um, it's, it's, you know, you, you take every situation as a learning situation because mm-hmm. what somebody or something happened to you, you can teach somebody else um, or tell somebody else, help somebody mend their life together by your experiences. So um, you have to you have to forgive because mm-hmm. if you forgive a situation or a person, guess what? You can teach somebody else how to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Right. That's just life. And then and then why else you forgive is it it's it's peace. It oh, causes heck yeah. There's peace in that. Right? And I know You may not people don't see it during mm-hmm. the midst of them, you know, uh, uh going through their situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But sometimes it ain't really worth it. Like to mm-hmm. to oh, hold on grudge. I mean, yeah. Because the other person's not thinking about that situation. Exactly. You exactly. are. You're the one thinking about You're it. You're dwelling on it. Right. It's consuming you. And it's like, what is what I know you guys have heard this a million times. It's like drinking poison, hoping the other person will die. Oh, God. Right. I know you've heard that a million times, (laughs) but it really is. I mean, that's such that's such a good way to describe it because you're like hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. That person doesn't even care. You know, or they, they might not even know they offended you. That's a big one. And you walking around mad. They don't know why. For no reason. They have no idea. They probably didn't even mean it. And that, that goes back to communicating, right? Yeah. You didn't even ask them or tell them, hey, that offended me. See, that's a, that's a show right there. We need to do something on communication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a big one. Right. Right. So, yeah. So, it affects. And then, you know, how, how I said earlier that um, unforgiveness of, like spills over. Like yeah. you turns into bitterness and all this other stuff. So it can affect your business affairs. Oh, it can yeah. affect your personal affairs. Everything around you. Right. And so you're giving the other person so much power over your whole life. It's not worth it. Don't give nobody power over your life. Mm-hmm. It's your life. Live it. Be happy. Mm-hmm. You know, if somebody offended you for some reason, catch it early. Hey, you know, what do you mean by that? You know, blah, 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 blah. Or, hey, you did this, you know, and I really don't appreciate it. You ain't got to curse them out. Don't do that. Mm-mm. Don't curse nobody out. Then, yo, save your felonies. If you got a felony, <laughs> you don't need another one. You know, you don't, you don't need another one, man. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you can stay away. You can still forgive somebody and stay away. Right. Right. And so, yeah. And so I think that's really the takeaway, right? Yeah, that's the takeaway. Yeah. It's just, you know, that's what forgiveness is for, you know, to... Make sure you you have your business in order, and make sure that you are that you're at peace. Yes, sir. You got to take care of yourself. Take care of your physical body. You're number one. Yeah. Take care of your mental and your physical. That's why I'm trying to get rid of these boobies. Taking care of my physical. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's about I that. Think about that's does it. it. Yeah, it's just a little encouragement for you today. If you have any comments. Uh, we could have went on and on because we have we both have multiple examples. Okay, so what we'll do? This is part one. Mm-hmm. Forget like uh, yeah, forget yeah. this part one. So okay, we'll do that. Yeah, we can go into examples. Yeah, we can go into some examples on the next show. Cause and if you have any examples of unforgiveness or situations where you were bitter and you overcame it or you're still bitter, put it in the comments yeah. so we can discuss it. And it's okay, you know, um, where you are, you know, if you're bitter, it's okay. You can change that. Right. That's the greatest thing about anything. You mm-hmm. could change it. Right. Exactly. Nobody's judging. It's just a conversation this here. This is a no judge zone. Right. So, All right. you feel good about it? Yeah, I feel good I about feel it. I feel good about it too. <laughs> yeah, man. So, listen. If nobody told you that they love you, remember. We do. We do over here, all right? We do. Yes, we do. Boom. 
Salute. I think we did that backwards. That's okay. Do I do it again? Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> You're getting double kisses and double love. All right. All right. Peace out. See you next week. Unlocking, Unlocking the music. The music. You think I'm a lunatic, lost my mind, I'm mentally sick, uh-huh. but for all mankind, this is it, new kingdom on the earth, where the devil don't fit, no more bad times and no more wars, New Jerusalem, the city with the gold on the floor, righteous laws, a thousand year war, the earth rejuvenated, Christ illuminated, I fight for the cause, kick down doors, the devil set up, and I'm about to erupt, Max the warrior, I wear the armor of God, fix your face, raise the base, and stop looking so hard, you see, praising the Lord is easy for me, Craig Max right here, he's supposed to be, you're not close to me, you're supposed to be.